everyone, it's Anya here from the blog OurGableHome.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you how we organize our front porch. With springtime, I don't know where you live but I'm sure that spring is coming, comes cleaning and organization. I'm going to show how I organize our front porch. I have actually let it go to a point where it's pretty bad. Usually we don't let it go that far because I will take stuff out or you know organize it before but just for the purpose of this video I let it go a little bit longer so I can really show you a deeper process. It's a five-step process that I'm going to share with you and then I have the most important tip for your organization at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. And as part of this whole cleanup idea, I have teamed with some of my blogging and YouTubing friends, and we're gonna bring you home organization room by room. And if you're interested in my blogging and YouTubing friends organization of their rooms, I have links in the description box below this video so you can check out what they're doing and get all their tips for organizing your home room by room. It doesn't have to all be in one day. It can be divvied up in individual tasks so that it doesn't get to be this overwhelming big job. Now for our porch, this is a 1910 home. It's actually a shingle style Victorian. And I think this goes for many older homes is that we don't, once we enter the house, don't have a coat closet or somewhere we can really put our shoes because once you open this door, you're right in our living room. So we have to keep our shoes here on the front porch, also for another reason, because we don't wear shoes in the house. So there's a collection of shoes out here, but there are ways that you can make that look so much more organized. And as part of this collaboration, there is a giveaway. I will also leave a link in the description box below this video. It's over on Instagram. Be sure to check it out because we're giving away prizes, all sorts of neat products that help your home stay more organized. So make sure you check that out. The first step really is to organize everything in three piles, throw out, keep and donate. So here I'm moving my husband's boat cushions that I promised to sew for him inside the house into my sewing area. And I have a box already going for donations, cushions for porch furniture, go somewhere else, I'm organizing my shoes. And some shoes don't need to be on the porch. The rubber boots, for example, can go on the garage as well as the ladder. Doggy toys. Those boots can go into the shoe cabinets. Here's something that I always wanted to do something with and never did so, I'm finally throwing it out. Seeds get organized into a different basket. This is a dog towel that can stay in the cabinet. Kitchen paint can go in the garage. Oh, and here's more things that we don't need. Garden gloves. Or canning supplies, they need to go with the other canning supplies. Our picnic basket can go in the garage. And I have no idea why we have a collection of bike helmets on our front porch. Again, they also go in the garage where we keep our bikes. And with some gloves, I feel a little bit better about digging around in all this dust here. Shoehorn, antique sickle, horse tack can go into my other horse tack collection. 
And my husband's smoker really needs to stay on the porch because it's the only place where it doesn't get really hot. So the next step is cleaning. As you can see, I got a little hand broom. I'm already dusting everything off. From years of not having cleaned it. And really, when you're organizing, this is the perfect time to give it a deeper clean. Often it's a really good idea to move things so you can sweep underneath. This is where, on our porch, all the leaves and the dust collect. perfect tool for cleaning our doormat and that is a rug beater <laughs> I'm kind of moving already into the third step and that is putting things back into place the doormat goes back that little wicker table goes back in its place still sweeping behind the bench and as you can see I have this exercise ball that I've always wanted to use and we never use it so I'm getting rid of it I'm putting the shoes back into their place Now I'm looking at what needs to be repaired. For example, this bench cushion, that's gonna be a separate video that's coming out soon. I'm gonna teach you how to make a bench cushion with the piping. And so stay tuned for that. There's the piping. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. It's actually pretty simple. So that definitely needs updating. There's the shoes organized. Clean the doormat. I've got all that. All the other shoes organized on the wicker table, cleaned up again. My husband's smoker needs to stay on the porch for a number of reasons. But it already looks so much better. We've got the shoehorn and the sickle there. The antique sickle that I inherited from my grandfather. So much better. And here's the box that is going to the thrift store for donation. We do need to paint the floor on the porch. And then you start decorating. This is the fun part. I have a seasonal wreath that I like to hang on the front door. I'm adding some flowers into this antique copper. Hot. And some more flowers for the flower pot right by the front of the porch. So here's my five step process again for organizing really any space and that is first to assess and take all the stuff out and make three piles as we already know. One is for throw away, one is for donate and one is for keep and then you proceed with that. Then you take the time to actually really clean the space. Now, I could have done a better job at washing the walls that have some dust on it, but that was a little bit more than I wanted to do for this video. And once your space is completely clean, you put the items that remain in your space, 
on the front porch back to where they belong and if there's any updating which we definitely need to do this would be the fourth step for example the bench cushion that needs to be redone and we definitely need to repaint the entire floor here and there's um there's cracks in this one front door that need to be fixed so that's something that um, i will do at a different time and then you decorate to make the space really pretty so you add some flowers you um, add some if it's an indoor space you could add some paintings or anything decorative that um, makes that space look really inviting and fresh and enjoyable to be in now i promised you to give you the most important tip to organization and here it is maintain your organization <laughs> I know this may not sound super record-breaking or groundbreaking. However, if I organize this porch and then I let everything just pile on, we don't really know what to do with it and we just leave it here because it's just convenient, then it's gonna look like it looked before in no time. So I always think that the best organization is one that is maintainable and sustainable but also this is where the effort goes in that you maintain it so from now on everything that does not belong on the porch doesn't get to live here forever it needs to maybe stay here for a day until we decide what to do with it but then it needs to either be thrown out or moved to a different place because it doesn't belong here or donated or something but it doesn't get to live here forever so again my biggest tip for organization is maintaining your organization i hope you found this video helpful if you did i always love it if you give me a thumbs up and if you're new on my channel it means the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss another video thank you so much for joining me here in my porch organization video and i look forward to seeing you next time